These are the five expressions from the Hindu editorial, a case of excesses dated August 8, Thursday, 2024. The first expression is, pull wool over the eyes of someone. The meaning of this expression is to cheat someone and see that they will never come to know about the truth. Example, your son has been bunking the classes without coming to the school by telling you that he is regular. He is pulling the wool over your eyes. Be alert. Second one, egregious violation of the rule. The meaning of this word is something which is very bad and clearly noticeable. Example, the egregious behavior of elected representatives in the assembly is embarrassing. Third one, she milked the privilege stemming from her father's position. The meaning of milked is to get the illegal and unfair advantage. The meaning of stemming is to come from. So, the meaning of this sentence is, she took the unfair advantage of the facilities coming from her father's position. Example. You have been milking all the facilities stemming from the university for research scholars. Fourth one, government must cast its eye. The meaning of this expression is government should carefully and quickly examine something and give its opinion on it. Example, the future of two states depends on this dam. Could you please cast your eye on the architect's plan of this dam once again? Fifth one, outlandish tale of Pooja Khedkar. The meaning of this expression is strange, awkward, unusual, unacceptable story of Pooja Khedkar. Example, I am used to listening to such outlandish stories presented by regional news channels. So, in this way, by collecting three to five expressions every day from print media, we can enrich our vocabulary so that we can make use of them in sentence formation to improve our spontaneity, fluency and communication skills. Keep practicing. Thank you. Read the sentences loudly, clearly, repeatedly to train the tongue. Understand the situation and the sentence structure clearly. Always make own examples to improve your spontaneity and fluency. But never do grammar exercises. They don't improve our communication skills. Thank you. Keep learning English language. Have a great time.